Hi, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today we're going to talk about tools. These are the tools that I use for refurbishing games. There's a lot of them, so I'm going to grab the camera and we're going to go over what I use. So I'm going to pause it and we're going to get the little handheld unit on it and we'll go through it. Alright, these are all the tools I use. Mostly, except for this giant forceps here. I don't use that one. That just came with the other three. But anyways, um, let's start with shop towels. Those I use for everything. To clean everything off. Um, they work great. They're strong. They last really good. Um, I got a bucket. Throw all my junk in there. Um, I take screws out or whatever. Put them in there rubber kits, um, posts, anything. I have different buckets, little trays. Um, another little tray here I use to collect stuff. Um, here's my soldering iron that I use. It's a Hacko um, FX888D. Um, I have my little kit with everything in it. Um, wire stripper, um, Leatherman tool, I got a hole puncher, solder, flux, there's some epoxy that I don't use, so that's just in there. Um, shrink tubing, got the shrink tubing. This is one of my main tool kits. It's got sockets, metric, and standard with long work wrenches. I really don't use any of this crap. It just came with it, but a lot of other stuff I use. If not... It, if it's not in here, I have my regular toolkit, my actual big unit that's out in the garage. I use that. Cleaners. This is what I use for cleaning, polishing, getting that stubborn dirt out. Um, it's the best wax period. It's um, good paste wax. It does the job. It's, it's great. Napsa. Use that for cleaning. Novus 1 and Novus 2. Use that for cleaning um, the play field, the plastics, everything. 91% um, isopropyl alcohol. That's another cleaner. Glass cleaner. Ammonia free. That's what you want. These are exfoli exfoliating pads. Um, I like these because they got uh, the texture on them. I use those for um, cleaning and waxing the play field. Uh, magic eraser. I only use this when needed. Cotton swabs. You can either buy the Q-tip brand, which has the best cotton swab on it, or this is a Target brand, and these are plastic, which I like because I, uh, if you use them really hard, you won't break them. Um, Mother's Megan alum aluminum polish. I have this, and then a buffer. Yeah, the buffer is in my um, tools. Um, Video uh, microfiber cleaning cloths. Use those for the play field, waxing, everything. I got these little tool kits I got from Harbor Freight. They got coil stops in it. All the, you know, miscellaneous little <laughs> clips that you lose that fly off. I guess some people call them Jesus clips too. Um, I got spare parts in here. Parts I found in machines. Extra parts from things I tore apart or I needed parts from and I bought you know used pieces so I kept the more common stuff in here this I got extra coils um, and a ton of leaf switches brand new ones and used ones so I can either fix up a leaf switch I do have new contacts where I can put new contacts on an old leaf switch this I got from my buddy at work um, Got a bunch of whole different screws in there and everything. Um, this is an old fishing kit. And then I got more bulk screws. As you can see, I got them labeled so I know exactly where they're gonna go. Score reels, um, bag of locks, locks I taken off in case I need parts for anything. Um, I want a handy thing keep this latched up all the time because you when you want to go into the bottom 
sometimes if you don't have that top lifted um latched um you'll have a mess there's some more of my bins that i use um this is my travel kit if i go to look at a machine or whatever i got a um, socket wrench two different socket wrench kits i have a neat little thing that's got all my wrenches on if i need it in here i keep um all damaged parts so i can explain to people you know um like here here's a perfectly good coil what it's like and then um war ones and stuff so i can explain to people you know better what everything is there's a screwdriver bit kit in there there's a extension cord um files um wrenches ruler i keep my um dial gauge in there to measure the play field now stuff i use a lot i have assorted um uh, cable ties nut drivers gotta have your nut drivers leaf switch tools and different files and cleaners this is awesome for the gottlieb machines um, i got this from pbr resource um it is good for these nuts that are under the plastics so you can get these top off these are awesome for that it gives you the two different ways to get in there I love this thing use a lot um, socket this is a nine millimeter socket but this is this is a craftsman nine millimeter this I use to get out stuck coil sleeves um, you might have a nine millimeter that doesn't work, you know, might be too fat, too thin. Um, but this is what works perfect in a coil to push out the sleeve. I use that if I can't push out the sleeve, then it gets a new coil, a real thin wrench. Um, this has this is an odd size, um, so I keep it around. My electric screwdriver, this is gyro, hold the button. It um, turns for you. I got two different uh, multi screwdrivers and then a bunch of regular screwdrivers. Uh, electrical tape, a crimping tool. This is for like Molex connectors on solid state machines. My drill, flashlight, there's my dial gauge. A level, a tiny level. You want that to get into play fields. A little adjustable clip on flashlight, another one. My multimeter tester. Um, a bunch of little test leads, a glue stick, um, wood glue, and um, those are giant tooth um, cotton swabs. But I use the wood from them to repair um, stripped out broken holes in um, play fields. The sock is actually a magnifying lens. Use that to uh, read stuff it does work really good it's just on this camera it, it doesn't look like it's doing anything but um i keep it in a sock so it doesn't get scratched assorted um pliers big needle nose a tiny needle nose a side cutter a regular little pliers uh, razor blade a spatula you do have use for this uh, these two right here i mainly use to free up stuck components when I'm fixing a machine. I can just squirt the stuff in there, get it loose, verify everything is fixed and working now, and then I can take it apart, clean it back off, and then put the appropriate stuff in. But this I, I like using just to get the machine going again, along with the 3-in-1 oil. Super lube, use that for everything. Now this is not an extension cord. This is a grounding cord. These two terminals are not connected. The only thing that's connected is the ground on both sides. This you can use for a solid state machine when you're working on it. Plug it into the wall, plug it into the machine. What it does, it fully grounds the machine to the house. So you don't have to worry about zapping anything out. I have a video on how to make this too. Um, different Allen wrenches. You need those sometimes. These are my scrubby things for cleaning everything you can see how war they are 
This is, a, this is what it looks brand new. Um, two different paint pens, fine tip. Um, one's acrylic, one is oil based. Security bit set. That is also um, regular, every other type of screwdriver bit set. These I made, these are um, circuit breakers mounted to fuses. You can use these for um, testing machines. Like let's say you're blowing fuses for some reason. You can put this in, um, check out whatever you did wrong, and then turn the machine on. If you don't blow the fuse, you know you fixed it. If, a blow, if you blow the fuse again, you know you gotta do something. I just had that with the Grand Prix. Um, it had a wrong um, coil on one of the score reels. Um, I forgot what coil it was, but it had electrical tape wrapped around it. When I cleaned it, I didn't think about putting the tape back on. But as soon as I plugged in the head and started the game, I blew a fuse instantly. It took me a little while. Once I took the head off and looked through at all the wiring, I found out that um, one of the... Um, coils was shorting right to the coil stop so that's where those came in handy for me different picks you can use these for cleaning out all the stubborn stuff or I like using them for old pop bumper light sockets you can get down there and pull up the tab a little bit so you can um, make a better contact on the bottom of the bulb different files sometimes you need them for cleaning stuff this is an Allen wrench, but it's a security bit Allen wrench. This works on um, some of the popular screws I've noticed on the pinball machines, like on my Hurricane, the topper. I was freaked out that it had a security bit um, screws on it. Scissors, and then that's a 600 grit sandpaper. Um, I don't need this one anymore because I had bought this new one. But a little baby socket just to get in a tight little spaces. This one will go back out in my um, toolbox of spares. This is a definite must need to get them screws or long reach. I have one in my other tool kit too. But that's a definite. Markers, uh, fine tip and a big tip. I use this for marking boxes for parts. A pen just to jot down any information. Um, Electrical tape, you need that. Drill. Um, I think that's about it. Is that everything I went through? My big light. Don't ask me where I got it from because it was Goodwill. So I don't know the brand or anything. I know it's bright. It's got a nice stand on it. I modded the, the end here with a nail and a zip tie so I can hang the cord up on it so I don't trip over the damn thing all the time. But um, that's what that's for. Um, my saw horses. Um, you need those for to hold up the play field. My play field jig that I made. Um, there's some of my um, microfiber towels that need to get washed. And um, that's about it. I have a little stool under there I can sit on if I need to. And then I got a bar stool here to sit on. And a bar stool here. This table right here I use with that moving blanket. This is where I work on my heads. I got this old um, TV table. That's what we call them. Um, I put my soldering stuff on there. As you can see it's been used with soldering stuff because there's little burns and stuff on there. I don't care. Um, it's a, it, The table is jacked up to begin with. Um, Strips, um, power strips, use them for everything. And then I got a cord with a little baby strip on it that I can plug in several different things if I need to. Um, several boxes of new parts all on standby. And then I got my cart here, which has other stuff that I use, not too much or extra little parts or whatever. But, um, yeah, that's about it. A um, little garbage. This is just a little kid's um, like sandbox pail. I just put the grocery bags in it. I fill it up and I pull the bags out. Throw them in the garbage. These little boxes you get from Comet. 
are great for holding little things. Sauerkraut, love the sauerkraut. It's good for holding your bulbs when you take them out. Little Dixie cups, you'd be amazed how much use you can get out of them. This is holding the extra cotton swabs and then I cut, cut the ends off. Once I use them for cleaning or whatever, I keep them and then I cut the ends off and then I can use them for um, filling the holes where it's stripped out play field. And then I got extra little pieces of um, sanding paper. These I just fold in half the long way and that's how I clean the contacts. But um, yeah, this is everything I use and more. Um, wood glue, you can, I have a different type of wood glue too. Um, no, I guess that's it. That's the only one I got. I just got two bottles of it. But yeah, that's basically everything I use plus more. And this, this is a um, bulb removal tool, like on the head to get the bulbs out. All it is is a, you know, four or five inch um, hunk of um, rubber. Just take one of your bulbs to the hardware store and see one that fits in here nice and tight and you can make your own. But yeah, that's it for um, tools. And I do get a couple cans of air. I use those sometimes for blowing out stuff on, on machines. Um, I just keep this kit underneath my machine. Sometimes I dig into it and Sometimes I don't put the stuff back where I'm supposed to. But, yeah, that's about it. And um, for soldering, I do have this little neat um, thing I got from Harbor Freight. It's got its magnifying glass on it and a stand. I guess I will have to put that magnifying glass back on. But, let me get this off. And it's got the little stand, and it's got alligator clips on both ends you can use for um, holding wires together or whatever you're soldering. But this screws right onto there, and I just got to screw it back on. But yeah, that's about it for everything I use. I can't think of anything else. But yeah, that's the typical tools that I use at Mark's Basement Arcade for refurbishing. Um pinball machines. So any questions, um, drop them down in the comments below and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Um, like the video, share the video, um, subscribe to us on Facebook at Mark's Basement Arcade. Um, click the subscribe and like button on this video. Down in the description is a link for uh, Amazon Affiliate. Um, it's a referral link. You click on that, you do your shopping, and I get um, some change from your purchase. It doesn't cost you any more or any less. You still get the exact same discounts you always got at Amazon. It's just um, a way for Amazon to thank me for sending you there for you to spend your hundreds of dollars worth of cool stuff that you saw that you really didn't need. Or you probably did need. But anyways, um, that's about it. Oh, another new thing I'm doing too is these. I'm using stopwatches on my machines I work on. I'm putting stopwatches on it. This one's got 25 minutes on. <coughs> Excuse me. No, I don't have the virus. Um, I use those on there because I like to see how much time I wasted on a machine or... How much time I'm wasting on a machine or how long that repair actually took it you'd be surprised on uh, my Grand Prix right now just the head just doing the complete head I got 13 hours in the head just the head that's going through every single thing on the head but um yeah they're either a uh, stopwatch is an awesome tool or a horrible tool depends on how you look at it but anyways, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, thanks again. Later.